In this topic, we're going to discuss the female reproductive system and eugenesis. So we look at what are the structures of the female reproductive system, what are the hormones involved, and then we're going to describe the stages of eugenesis. So looking at the female reproductive system, you've got the ovaries, and these are about the size and shape of a large almond. They're situated in the, in the abdominal cavity, and they're held in position by the ovarian ligaments. The vagina is a tube of smooth muscle about 10 to 14 centimeters, but it is capable of considerable distension, especially during childbirth. And it's lined internally with stratified epithelium and a mu mucus secreting layer. So the vagina accommodates the penis during sexual intercourse and it also allows the passage of the baby during childbirth. The cervix is a ring of muscle at the top of the vagina and this expands greatly during childbirth. The uterus is a pear-shaped organ and the walls are made of smooth muscle called myometrium. Then you've got an inner layer called the endometrium. So the uterus is also known as the womb and this is where the fetus develops during pregnancy. Your fallopian tubes are also called oviducts and these are two small tubes about 10 centimeters long. They've got a feathery funnel-like opening that partly envelops the ovary where each of them collects the secondary oocyte which is released at ovulation. Now the walls of the fallopian tubes are made of smooth muscle lined by a mucus secreting layer of ciliated epithelium. These cilia help to move the secondary oocyte from the ovary to the uterus. Just briefly, the external coat of the ovary is called the germinal epithelium and this divides to form the oocytes when the female is still a fetus. Now by birth, each female has several hundred thousand oocytes that have reached the prophase stage of the first meiotic division. The ovaries function to produce the female gametes, which are called the secondary oocytes and they're sometimes referred to as the ova. The ovaries also produce the hormones estrogen and progesterone during the menstrual cycle. So we look at how the different oocytes, uh, the oocyte develops into the different stages when we cover menstruation. So the different hormones involved are your gonadotrophins and steroid hormones. Your gonadotrophins include the follicle stimulating hormone FSH and luteinizing hormone LH. Now both of these hormones are secreted from the pituitary gland. The steroid hormones are also called your sex hormones and these include estrogen and progesterone. Okay, let's have a look at the process of eugenesis. So eugenesis is the production of oocytes in the ovaries of the females. So looking at the different steps, before birth, the germinal epithelium, which lines the ovaries, divides by mitosis to form eugonia. Now you've got millions being formed. These grow and enlarge to form the primary oocyte. So by birth, the ovaries contain several hundreds of thousands of primary oocytes, which have reached prophase 1 of the first meiotic division.
So the homologous chromosomes have paired up and the primary oocytes are surrounded by follicle cells called the membrana granulosa. So the entire structure is called the primordial follicle. At birth, there are about 2 million and only about 450 will continue to form over. Now at puberty, a hormone called the follicle stimulating hormone causes the successive primary oocytes to continue their development so that the ovaries have oocytes at different stages of maturity. So each month, one primary oocyte completes the first meiotic division. So it develops into a secondary oocyte plus a smaller non-functional structure called the first polar body. The secondary oocyte continues into meiosis 2. It's then halted at metaphase 2. This means that metaphase 2 is not completed. It's only after fertilization that the second meiotic division will continue to form the second polar body and then the ovum. So here's a summary of the different stages in oogenesis. Try and remember which stages occur before birth, at puberty, and after fertilization. Well, as you can see here, before birth is when your germinal epithelial cells form oogonia and then the primary oocyte. Remember that the primary oocyte is halted at prophase 1 of meiosis 1. And then it's at puberty that it completes meiosis 1 to form the secondary oocyte and the first polar body. So you've got mitosis, growth, meiosis 1, meiosis 2. Can you remember what stage of meiosis 2 is when the secondary oocyte is halted before fertilization takes place? It's metaphase 2. And that concludes our lesson, the end.